It's Coach Z, head coach here at 24-7 Hockey, and in this video, we're going to work on how to improve your stick handling skills today in just 10 minutes. Okay, so I'm going to give you some tips and some drills to work on that will improve your stick handling today. So at the end of this 10 minutes, you're going to become a better stick handler if you do these drills and you use these tips. All right, the first thing that you need to do to improve your stick handling that a lot of players overlook or don't really think about is how you're holding on to stick in your hand positioning because that's going to set you up for success. I see a lot of players that hold the stick with their knob out a little bit and that ruins your top hand rotation. And being able to rotate that top hand is everything when it comes to stick handling and having soft hands, okay? Same thing, you see players with huge knobs, all right, and they hold under their knob. All right, well, you're never going to get that good control with your top hand. The best positioning is to have that knob a little bit actually inside your glove. All right, so, and I like a nice small knob, but, and, uh, you know, I don't like much tape here because I want to rotate that hand, but that's just a personal preference. But just a little bit inside your glove holding that. So now you can really rotate that top hand around the puck. All right, and that's how you're gonna see players in the NHL holding your, their stick. You're never gonna see a player in the NHL with their stick knob out above the top of their finger like that. So give yourself an opportunity to rotate that top hand and have soft hands, and the setup is the number one thing. And then obviously, as you know, you want a loose bottom hand. You want to control with the top hand and a loose bottom hand. So the first thing you have to do is you have to hold the stick the right way. Next, if you want to become a great stick handler, okay, you see players like Patrick Kane and some of these unbelievable players handling the puck, Datsuk when he was playing in the NHL, all right? They all are unbelievable at controlling the puck with their top hand. And one of the ways that you can improve that is by adding either a PVC pipe. I just have a little PVC pipe here, but you can even use a toilet paper roll. In fact, I like a toilet paper roll even better because you can't squeeze it very hard. You have to be gentle with that bottom hand, otherwise you're gonna smash it. So just putting that on the bot, on your stick and holding that with your bottom hand. Now what you can do is just go through a series of drills. Okay, so with that, okay, you can just work, just stick handling on your forehand side. All right, just work on stick handling on your forehand side. Stick handling in front, quick stick in front. All right, nice and soft, or you can go a little bit wider here. Okay, or you can go very wide. All right, sliding that bottom hand. The other thing you can do is you can go around your body. So making stick handling. Okay, all the way around your body, both ways. And you're just really forcing yourself to rotate that top hand to control that puck. And by putting this, either a PVC pipe that goes down your stick, or a toilet paper roll. All you need is leftover toilet paper roll. If you're serious about becoming better at stick handling, I would spend 30 minutes a day just on some of these drills. You should be hoarding toilet paper rolls. Nobody in your family should throw away toilet paper rolls because those things are priceless when it comes to having better hands, okay? So just learning how to control the puck, but don't force yourself to do it. Use something like this that's actually going to help you and assist you so that you don't have to think about it. It's just going to happen and you're adding something to your drill that's actually getting you out of your comfort zone and forcing you to use the right technique. Real quick, before we continue with the rest of this video, I just wanted to let you know that we have a free gift for you at the end of this video. It's a free goal scoring challenge and sniper workout that you can access to. Okay, there'll be a link right here. It's 247hockey.com slash score. There'll also be a link right here in the video and there'll be a, a link in the description of the video. That's how you can access that free goal scoring challenge for serious players that want more training and want to score more goals and dominate on the ice. Also, if you're not subscribed yet and you're enjoying this video, please hit that subscribe button so that you get notified whenever we release new videos. Next, it doesn't do you any good to become a good stick handler and to have good skills if you can't see the ice and make plays. And the only way to see the ice and make plays is to have your head up. So the whole idea behind having good hands and having good skills is to be able to handle the puck under pressure and not having to stare down at it and worry about the puck, but just knowing that you're gonna control it so that you can actually look up and make plays, okay? So you have to get more comfortable looking up or not looking at the puck and being able to handle it. So a great way to do that is just look up and close your eyes, okay? See how long you can stick handle the puck going through different drills with your eyes closed, okay? So your head's up, your eyes closed, and you're just gonna be going through different drills, okay, with those eyes closed and with your head up, and time yourself. 
See how long you can go or do for 30 seconds and see how many times you lose the puck, but close those eyes. All right, and then if you want to make it even harder, again, go back to your PVC pipe or your toilet paper roll and then add this. Now you're working on top hand control and now you're closing your eyes. Okay, so that's going to be twice as hard because it's going to be hard to control the puck only with your top hand and your eyes are going to be closed. So doing that, having your eyes closed, stick handling the puck, adding the PVC pipe, it's extremely challenging, all right? You see me demonstrating some of those. I lost the puck plenty of times, all right? So it's hard. Open your eyes, find the puck, grab it again, and then stick handle some more, okay? Eventually you're gonna get better and better at it, and that's the key. The, more be the better you get at it, the more comfortable you're gonna be with the puck on your stick and feeling that puck. Think about it. If you can handle the puck with your eyes closed, of course in a game under pressure, you're gonna be able to handle the puck. And yeah, once in a while you're gonna to have to look down. If you're gonna make moves, if the puck's down in your, in your feet, if you're gonna pull off a toe pull or something, you can glance down real quick, but the better you get at handling the puck without looking at it, the more you're gonna be able to see the ice, the more you're gonna be able to read plays, anticipate plays. So this is advanced drills and advanced tactics to be able to handle that puck under pressure, be able to read the ice and be a better playmaker. All right, the last tactic that you have to use if you want to improve your stick handling today is gonna to be moving while you're stick handling and changing directions, all right? Too many players are only training their stick handling stationary. Well, you don't play hockey stationary, right? So it's great to work on some of those previous things we did to really build up the mechanics and the tools to have better skills, but then you have to put it to use. You have to test it moving full speed and changing directions, all right? So I like to do a quick cut drill. So the quick cut drill is gonna be two or three steps both directions each direction and then cutting. So we're stick handling here, cutting, stick handling here, cutting, stick handling here. All right, so you're moving quick, you're cutting, you're taking two or three hard steps each direction and you're changing directions each time. So you can do that forwards, then you can also do that backwards. All right, so you can also do that while you're going backwards. Step here, cut, cut, open up those hips, cut. All right, another variation that's really good with that drill is pulling it out to your, uh, pulling it out to one hand on your stick, so extending your reach. So on your forehand side, so I'm a righty, when I'm going to the right, I'm gonna stick handle normal. Then when I cut to the left, I'm gonna pull it out to my backhand side and take two or three steps. So I'm here normal, then pull it out two or three steps. Okay, so if I'm going this way, Back at you. Okay, here, pull it out. Okay, here, pull it out. So then we're working on extending our reach. All right, the last one you can do is forward, backwards, changing directions, okay? So now I'm coming here forwards. I'm gonna transition backwards, okay? Forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, all right? So doing those full speed, pushing yourself, all right, is gonna make it that much harder. Now, you wanna take it to the next level, incorporate what we just talked about. Add the PVC pipe, so you're only controlling the puck with your top hand, or the toilet paper roll, so you're only controlling the puck with your top hand. Close your eyes and do this drill with your eyes closed. Then combine them all three. Moving, full speed, cutting, with the PVC pipe or the toilet paper roll, so your top hand control with your eyes closed, and that's gonna be the ultimate test, all right? So do those drills, incorporate this into your training. Now you've added some variations, you've got out of that just normal every single day, stick handling, doing the same thing over and over again, not pushing yourself, not getting out of your comfort zone, and that's gonna be a huge problem, all right? So you gotta push yourself, you gotta change it up, you gotta get out of your comfort zone, you gotta force yourself to incorporate training that's actually gonna help you grow and help you improve. So this is how you just do this for 10 minutes a day, you're gonna see your stick handling improve even in one day, but if you do it over time, that's how you get to that next level. Do you wanna score a goal in your next game? Do you wanna be able to dominate on the ice and feel like every time you touch the puck, you're a threat to score? We have a free goal scoring challenge. It's a series of trainings and workouts that you can implement 
that's going to help you create more confidence with the puck, create more goal scoring opportunities, and being able to bury your chances. It doesn't matter if you're a forward or a defenseman, this free goal scoring challenge is going to get you started on training, thinking, and playing like an elite hockey player and building that confidence with the puck to score goals. You can access that right here at this link. It's 247hockey.com slash score. There'll also be a link in the description of this video that you can click on, or there'll be a link right here in the video too that you can access. And that's all going to take you to our free goal scoring challenge at 247hockey.com slash score. So if you're serious about wanting to score more goals, if you're serious about wanting to step up your training and becoming that elite level player on your team, subscribe to our channel, turn on the notifications. That way you'll be notified every time we release a new video. And if you have any ideas for videos that we should create, I want to get your feedback. I'm looking for ideas and creating more videos. How can I help you become a better hockey player? All right. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you want to work on. Let me know what videos you want us to create so I can help you become a better hockey player. Go to 247hockey.com slash score. Click that first link in the description. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave a comment below and let me know what videos you you want us to make. Okay, I'm Zach, head coach here at 24-7 Hockey. Thanks for watching. Remember, elite hockey players aren't born, they're made.